Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video we are going to be talking about layered blankets and how you can use them to spice up your island. So if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. So layered blankets have been around for a while. I've seen them on so many islands at this point, but I just kind of wanted to do a little compilation of a bunch of different layered blanket design ideas for you guys, because I've seen so many different variations on how to layer them. And I wanted to start off with the easiest ones first. So I've already laid out a bunch of different layered blankets over here. I feel like that would be a little bit easier than me trying to place them all. But first things first is just two rectangular blankets layered on top of each other. The good thing about this type of layered blanket is you can modify how much of it you want to be overlapping. So here I just have one tile overlapping here at the corner, but you can always scoot the blanket over, scoot it down, however much you want to be overlapping, you can control that. And I really like the way this looks once you add fringe on it. Now there is the, always gonna be this awkward edge right here. And unfortunately, you can't add fringe to this section. I'll show you guys what it looks like if you were to try to do that. Just because of the way that it's overlapping, it won't look right and the illusion will kind of be lost in this area because it'll get rid of the blanket pattern right here. But something that you can do is just make sure that when you're decorating an area where you're gonna be using layered blankets, all you have to do is put an item over top of this to cover it. I don't even know if I have an item in my pockets. Um, I have a hay bed. <laughs> Obviously, this is a huge item. Anything like this, a picnic basket, a book, anything will work. This is just the first thing that was in my pockets. And this would not normally go on a picnic blanket, but that's fine. Um, but you can just hide that little corner right there. I feel like I saw some... Here's some shoes in my inventory here. Even something like that will hide it. And then the more stuff that you add to your blanket, the more it will cover imperfections like that. But I really love layering blankets in picnic spots. So the next one that I wanted to show you guys is layering a normal rectangular blanket with a circle blanket and there are so many of these circle designs and I also wanted to mention that all of the designs that I'm using today are on my card which is linked down in the description. It's just a website that contains all the custom pattern codes that I use plus so many more so if you're looking for codes to use I definitely recommend going to check it out. It also features all of the different creators and their social media so you can also check the creators out too. But I like the way this looks, layering the circular rug underneath the rectangular rug. That's something to keep in mind is this rug is always going to be underneath the other one. Obviously, you can move it to whatever corner you want to. So I will go ahead and let's move it to this top right corner and I will show you guys what that looks like. All right, so you can see here that I've moved the circular blanket up here to the top left corner and it still looks super cute up here. So it just depends on the area that you're working on where you would want this layering to be. But the circular blanket is always going to have to be underneath or again, you will lose that illusion kind of like we did up here when we tried the fringe underneath. So there is that one. The next one that I wanted to talk about is just this simple rug right here. This one is a custom design that I love because it's already layered for you. This is just a four pattern design here. There's actually another 
pattern for the centerpiece as well, this green floral. So you can actually make this design even bigger if you want to into a rectangle or whatever shape you want to. But I like that it's already layered. It takes some of the hassle out of laying this blanket down. I really like the lace corners. Super cute, probably the easiest one to lay down. I also have this right here, which I don't see as often, honestly, because I don't see as many people doing the vertical rugs, but I like the interest that this adds. It's just a little bit something different to look at, and the illusion isn't as missed on this one because it fits nicely underneath. Now, I do wish that you could center this underneath it, but because I'm using three pieces for this blanket right here, there's no way to center the one underneath it. But I do like having the vertical rug underneath the horizontal one. I just think it's something a little bit different to look at. And the last one that I wanted to show off, and this is probably my favorite one, is this little diagonal rug underneath a horizontal rug. I think this is adorable. I actually tried to do this on stream the other day and I struggled so much with placing it down. It's like I couldn't process what I was trying to do in my head, but all you need to do is use the corner pieces when you're trying to do this and it will work out once, <laughs> once you place them all. I didn't think that it was going to look right when I was trying to do it on stream but you just use the top two corner pieces and the bottom two corner pieces underneath a horizontal rug right here. I will show you guys what I ended up doing over here, which I do like as well. It's just layered at a slightly different angle than that one. It's still a diagonal rug underneath a horizontal rug. It's just a slightly different angle. I have it right here in my picnic spot, but you can see that the diagonal rug is just shifted to the side a little bit. So the corner of the horizontal rug lines up with the edge of the diagonal rug. And I like this as well. My mod Emily actually sent me a drawing uh, trying to get me to do this on stream. And I love the way that it turned out. So that is just a different way to do it. And this is a good example of how I would incorporate these rugs onto my island. Just a super cute little picnic spot um, with the little game. You can see I've got the pillow over there hiding the edge that I can't have fringe on. And then also the flower in front, I feel like does a good job of hiding that as well. So those are all just some things to consider. What do you guys think? Do you use layered blankets on your island? Do you have any other suggestions on layered blankets? I would love to know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.